we had some fishermen up uh, last year, and I said, let's just take a day off in the snowmobile. And they got on the trails. They said, how come they're so smooth? And I said, well, how many people did you see on the trails the last three days of fishing? And he said, we didn't see anybody, so that's why they're smooth. They're hardly used. What do you got all over your face? Oh boy, we got a, yeah, it's a good idea. You got quite a bit of sunscreen on your face here. There we go. We're just getting set up here and Dick just dropped his line down the hole. He got a little trout, like instantly, first drop. <laughs> Look at that. Incredible. Right on. It's uh, That's a good sign. It's either a really good sign or a bad sign when you get one on the first drop. Well, it's really but, good because you know, the rest of the day is going to get better. So good stuff. We'll measure it here. We'll, we'll measure it. Slots put on this lake. Great. Yeah, one over 24, and the other one's got to be under 17 and three quarters. And he's a 16 inch, so we're going to keep him. Good stuff. That's the perfect slot size to eat. Okay. All right. And what we do, we uh, cut the gills and bleed them, so there's no blood inside the fish fillet when you clean them. It actually gives the fish a little better taste. Sounds good. This, this is a man that knows, I think. Very cool. What a start. I haven't. We're just rigging up our rods over here. The other guys are drilling holes. <laughs> Dick just dropped his line down and bam. Still rigging up and Dick hooked another one. Here we go. A little bigger. Another nice little trout. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like a twin to the first one, actually. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Dave just got one in that hole over there. Graham has one right over there. Right now, like I'm in the middle, I'm the weak link right here, right now. It's been pretty much non-stop since we got to this spot. Another nice lake joke. On the little tube. Yeah. Twenty or sixty. Over sixty? Not sixty, no. No, no. Twenty-two and a half. Twenty-two and a half. It's close, but no cigar. Brendan's up to bat. Alright, now if he wants to run, let him run, okay buddy? Okay. Oh, that looks like it could be a good one. Here, let's get that flasher out of the way. Good boy. So Dick got fish on the white tube, Graham got fish on the white tube, Brendan's like, Dad, put a white tube on my line, please. So I did, and he just dropped it down like five minutes ago. How's it feel? Okay. Like a pretty decent one? Not crazy big, like another nice eater? Way to go, buddy. Oh, nice fish. Oh. <laughs> He's coming up backwards. Hey! All right. Way to go! Give me a high five. Good job. Way to go! With that was on. Oh, just just a little paddle tail. Look yeah. at that. Look at the tail sticking out of its throat. Let me see. There's Look at the tail. Look at it. <laughs> Holy cow! That's a hungry fish. Graham's up to bat. Dave over there just missed one a second ago. Troy just caught one moments ago. And, oh, no. Oh, there was a fish there, I promise. You know the guy that's having the most success is the one with the blood all on the ice all around his hole. Maybe he's not that big. He looks bigger underwater though. Nice one, way to go, Dick. Beauty, right on. On the white tube again. I don't know why I keep changing.
I was just sitting here blabbing to these guys and Graham just set the hook into another fish. Right on. Let's see what kind of angle of the sun I got here. Nice one. Very good, sir. Yeah. So we've been catching, yeah, another slot fish. Lots of, uh, lots of lake trout. I think everyone here, there's a bunch of people here, have caught fish. Did you get one? One. Okay, so everybody, including my 10-year-old son, Brendan, who's been hopping from hole to hole, except for this guy right here. You gotta do something about that. <laughs> oh yeah, chubby dirt. <laughs> oh wow, look at the size of it. Nice, nice fish. Oh. Look at how fat that one is. <laughs> look how fat that is. Wow. It's that like a football. A awesome. Wow. All right, it's the morning of our second day, quite a bit different. Um, low pressure moved in overnight. It's still fairly warm, it's not cold, but it's snowing pretty good. We got a little skiff of snow on the um, ice now, which is gonna be way better for traveling. And the plan today is we're going to Kikawabic Lake. Hopefully for numbers of walleye, eh, Bren? Lots of walleyes. We just got here. <laughs> Tyler got one right away. <laughs> nice job, buddy. Oh, so yeah. look at that fish. Just a jig and a minnow. Good going. Hey, what about the GoPro? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. There's a board. The board's right here behind the sleigh. So it was a bit of a haul to get in here. We're in Kikawabic Lake. Quite the adventure. It's very shallow here. Like I think it's like less than 10 feet. Tyler's on fire. That's the speed for <laughs> snow wave. He used to get a big one if you get him on the air. That uh, that's a sauger, isn't it? I do. Cool. Little sauger. Mr. Ben Beatty. He's on the board. All right, lots of, lots of little eater walleyes. Yeah. So we got one sauger so far, and we just started. We just started. These are all slot fish. Nice eaters. Right in, right in right there. Right in, get her, get her. <laughs> right in. the hole. The old willow gad. Old school. I don't think you can through your gloves. <laughs> I think you got one on there, buddy. Oh yeah. Get it away from the edge of the hole. There you go. Little guy. Go ahead. Little guy. Old school walleye. Oh! Right on. <laughs> right on cue. Look at this guy. Nice one. Keeper. Beauty. That walleye. It just boggles my mind. We're fishing in, I don't know what it is, like eight feet of water, maybe. Six to eight feet of water. It's just this is a big flat at the end of the lake. There's a creek down. Okay, so there's, down a, here. there's a creek. It's just a big sand flat over here. Creek over there, there's a big shallow sand flat. Wow, that's crazy. Nice fish. Yeah. Right on. It came off. Came off? Yeah, just got off. Check the jig head. Oh, it's still good. There's no time to rest here. <clears throat> Lots of action. You got him. You can't get him through the hole? There you go. Oh. Yeah, I came off. Drop her back down. I was just checking the room. Oh, we got a pike. It barely moved that stick. Look at that. You know how to unhook a pike, remember? 
Yeah. Oh. We gotta open his yap up a little bit. Troy just landed one at that hole, and he walked back, and nice chunky one right in the ice. Beauty. What gets me is, like those willow gads are barely moving. There's quivering. I saw that, and I'm like, eh. I know, <laughs> You're on it, just like. <laughs> Got a nice little fire going here. Very cool, look at that. For a while there, it was pretty fast, eh, Bren? You were running around like a little spider monkey from hole to hole. <laughs> Mr. Ben Beatty once again. <laughs> Good man. Nice chunky walleye. That. Whoa, that's a keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper. Yeah, that's a nice fat one. Well done, sir. Showing everyone how it's done. Hey. Just as a matter of principle again, I'm not using what the locals are using. <laughs> There's two reasons why I'm not uh, catching fish. I'm not fishing, because I'm filming Ben catch all the fish, <laughs> and I won't use the jig and minnow. Like yesterday, I wouldn't use the tube jig. This is literally seconds after the little one that we just threw back down. Oh, look at that. That was on that beat up minnows cut in half. I hooked them twice to get them on the... That's crazy. Wow. I was just talking to Dick and saying, you know what, I think I need to move because there's no, this is kind of slow. <laughs> I'm standing ahead. That's funny. Nice fish. Beauty. Thank God we have a speedy kid here. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, that's a, that's a keeper, I think, too. That's just the right size. Another nice little eater walleye. We just missed one, put a fresh minnow on, dropped it down, bam. I think we can just try and do that again. That's pretty much the perfect eating size, I would think. Good stuff. It's a walleye! <laughs> Bren just pulled another one up on the, go, on the willow stick. Good stuff. Let's have a look at that fish, Bren. Oh, there's another one over there. There's another one? Dick? Uh, Dick just said like 10 minutes ago it's going to be uh, prime time soon. And all of a sudden they turned on. You got one too, Dave? Yeah. No. This is a nice old one. Good job. Should I, should I keep them? Yeah, go put them over with the other ones. Good stuff. Day three. Here we are. We're just getting geared up, warming up the machines, getting everything loaded. It's uh, quite a bit different this morning. There's Dave. We got a wind chill of minus 20, so it's going to be a little nippier today. Oh no! Dave! Oh! I think well, but then this one came on hard, like broke the line right off. Broke your line. Dave, it was, it was Dave, a, it Dave. Was a, like bigger than the lake trout I caught yesterday for sure. Was it so, a trout? I don't know. I didn't even get to see it. Shoot. Bummer. Let's what get another line you, in there. What did you have on? Look at it. They're still down there. <laughs> Somebody get a line in there. Oh, 
That's pretty good. Got him? Just nice and slow now. Ben's got one. On All right. All right, buddy. Oh, hey, right. another nice yeah. little pike. Oh, little little pike. <laughs> it's uh, the witching hour. I just got a pretty nice walleye. Yes. Ren got this pike. All right, I'm going to do a short tour of the facility here we're staying at with Winoga Lodge in Sioux Lookout. This particular cabin is not on the island. The lodge, the actual Winoga Lodge, is directly out in front of us on the island right in front of us. But this is on the mainland. We're here in the wintertime ice fishing and there's, we're staying in this absolutely beautiful cottage here. Um, you can park your car right outside the front door three-piece bathroom in here with obviously hot and cold running water two bedrooms there's electric heat but we've been using the wood stove here and I can tell you that it's very efficient I was I'm actually still boiling hot right now a little bit too hot um, so really cozy in here there's a loft up here so this particular cabin can actually hold quite a large number of people. So there you have it, a short tour of Winoga Lodge's facility here in Sioux Lookout, Ontario. The entire experience was fantastic. You guys have been amazing hosts. The whole experience was incredible and I really would just like to thank you, Dick. You're welcome. For a great trip. Thank you, sir.